Welcome to Nonviolent Communication, an introduction to RFNR. My name is Michael Delamaza, and my email is michael.delamaza at gmail.com. Nonviolent Communication, or NVC, is an approach to communication that was developed by Marshall Rosenberg in the 1960s. I have found it to be extremely useful in communicating through conflict, both with other people and critically within myself. That's an important fact about NVC. It can also be used for self-connection. OFNR is at the core of NVC. OFNR is an acronym which stands for Observation, Feelings, Needs, and Requests. Let's take a look at each one of these in turn. Observations are facts. You start off a conversation by reciting facts that describe the situation. You have to take great care to make sure that the facts are actually facts. For example, the statement you were late to the meeting is not an observation because one person's late is another person's on time. The statement, the meeting started at 9 a.m., you arrived at 9.33 a.m., is an observation. I found that simply listing the observations and getting agreement about what the observations are can often do a lot to reduce conflict. The next step in OFNR is feelings. Feelings are a heart-centered description of a person's internal state. Examples include, I'm angry, I'm sad, I'm happy, I'm frustrated. There are some subtleties that have to do with NBC feelings. So I suggest using the feelings list from nbc.org. Once the feelings have been described, the next step is to describe needs. Needs are a universal desire of all human beings. Example needs include a need for water, a need for love, a need for learning, a need for communication. Once again, there are some subtleties in regards to NBC needs, so I recommend using the needs list at nbc.org. The final step of OFNR are requests. Requests are statements with the following properties. They are free of demands. They are phrased using positive language. For example, show up on time as opposed to please stop being late. And they're specific. Okay. Once that request is made, okay, then the other person has the opportunity to respond. I often suggest that people who are starting off creating requests using the OFNR technique, always start off with what are called connection requests, in which you simply ask the other person to share their thoughts and feelings once they have heard your statement, as opposed to making a strategy request, which is a request about meeting needs. So a request such as, would you be willing to share with me what your thoughts and feelings are in this moment, is a great request for NBC beginners. So let's take a look at a detailed example of how to translate a statement into NVC. So the original statement that we'll work with is, you keep being late to the daily stand-up. That is a violation of our team agreement. Can you please start showing up on time? So this is a statement that a team member or a scrum master or a manager might make in a scrum setting. This statement is full of judgment and criticism. So it's not an NBC statement. So let's turn it into one. Let's start off by describing the observation. On Monday, Tuesday, and Friday of the last week, you showed up at 9.03 a.m. for the 9 a.m. stand-up. So now we've converted the statement, you keep being late to the daily stand-up, into that we can all discuss. After we define the observation, there are feelings. The feeling in this case is, I am concerned, worried, irritated, and upset. Notice that feelings are about me and what's going on for me, not about the other person. Next, we describe the needs. I'm concerned, worried, irritated, and upset because my need for clarity, communication, and predictability is not being met. And finally, 
a request. Would you be willing to share with me what's going on for you when you hear me say this? Example of translating a statement into OFNR. And remember that you can do this without speaking with another person. You can simply do this to clarify your own feelings and needs in a situation. A few final thoughts about NVC. First, NVC is not about being nice, it's about being real. The goal is to truly self-express what's going on for you. Second, in corporate environments, feelings are sometimes not welcome. So you can just drop the F in OFNR and go with ONR, Observations, Needs, and Requests. And finally, for more information, visit CNBC and BayNBC.org.